Welcome to our lesson on using trigonometry to calculate lengths. So we're going to use the three trigonometric ratios, sine theta, tan theta, and cos theta. But to do this, we need to identify which one of these three to use for a specific question. So we start by labeling the sides. And this length is opposite the right angle, so it's a hypotenuse. And this length runs between the angle and the right angle, so it is the adjacent. We've been asked to find the opposite, and we've been given the hypotenuse. So we're going to use sine. So sine of theta, which is 60 degrees, is equal to the opposite, which we're trying to find, divided by my hypotenuse, which is 5. To make the opposite the subject on this equation, we'll multiply both sides by 5, because the divide and the multiply will cancel. So we have 5 multiplied by the sine of 60 will be the opposite length. And this works out as 4.33 to 3 significant figures. For our next question, again, we need to identify whether to use sine, tan or cos. So we'll label the sides. This side is opposite the angle. And the 8 centimetre runs adjacent between the right angle and the given angle. And because we've been asked to find the hypotenuse and we've been given the adjacent, we're going to use cos. So the cosine of the angle, which is 60 again, is equal to the adjacent, which is 8, divided by the hypotenuse, which we've been asked to find. To work out the hypotenuse, I'm going to move it to the other side by multiplying both sides by the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse multiplied by the cos of 60 will equal 8. So the hypotenuse will be 8 divided by cos of 60, which is 16 centimetres. OK, let's try two more questions. So do you want to try and work out the missing length in the green and the purple right angle triangles? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we've been given the hypotenuse and we've been asked to work out the adjacent. So we're going to use cos. So the cosine of the angle, 50, is equal to the adjacent, which we're trying to find, divided by the hypotenuse, which we have at 5. To work out the adjacent, we'll multiply both sides by 5. So these will cancel. So the adjacent will be 5 cosine 50, which is 3.21 centimetres. And for the purple triangle, we've been given the hypotenuse and we've been asked to work out the opposite. So now we're going to use sine of the angle 37 is equal to the opposite, which is E divided by the hypotenuse of 7.4. We'll move the 7.4 to the other side. So we have 7.4 multiplied by the sine of 37. And this is equal to 4.45 centimetres. Again, to three significant figures. Okay, thank you for watching and hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.